get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, uh, me and Drake here. Uh, you wanted me to talk? Of course. <laughs> I said you wanted me to talk, and I talked! Oh my god, bro. Okay, anyway. Yeah, we're doing a top 20 list. We already did a top 10, but this Go is... Go check that out if you haven't. Even and, though um, that's very irrelevant now, because our lists are changed a lot. Very different. Like, genuinely. You would not think we're the same people. Well, I genuinely. mean, maybe me. Because who the hell likes the games I do? Eh, some people do, like old people. Okay. You whippersnappers! Back in my day, back when I was your age, I was 12. Alright, shut up, Grandpa. Okay, so, uh, who's starting? Uh, who started the first one? You it did. So, should I, in theory, start first as well again? We because could switch it up. I'm gonna switch your balls up. What? Huh? Hmm? I'm saying nothing. I think you're hearing shit. Anyway, can I go on to mine now? I don't know. Can you? I mean, I own the channel, so... Yeah, you can. Alright, so I'm going first? Yep. Alright, so... My first, uh... uh pick... Is... Weird game, yep. You're probably going to be a wild one for some of you, but I'm probably also you. You probably aren't expecting this. I am expecting everything. But my number 20 is Ninja Gaiden 1. Um, I am surprised. Yep. Well, weren't you shitting on how hard it was when we first did a playthrough of it? Because it's hard doesn't mean it's bad, does it? You also said how you, like, fucking hated it. Because so, yeah, it's hard. I say that a lot when I get mad at games. I think everyone says, oh, I hate this fucking game, and then they boot it up the next day like nothing happened. Ninja Gaiden 3. Yo. <laughs> My life is irrelevant. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's Ninja Gaiden 1 because I think the story, a lot of people, I feel, overhype it a little. I, dude, this, this is gonna make people think I'm a little baby, but I am. Um, I, yeah. the first time I beat Ninja Gaiden, which was actually only a few days ago, I played the ending, and not because it was hard, I just never have seen the ending of the game before. That ending is, I don't think you watched it, but that ending was sad. I cried. I actually cried at the ending of a game. I didn't even cry when Spike when Iron Man died. You're a monster, bro. Saying that bro. is very hard to say. Like, like, hard man. Who doesn't cry at Iron Man's death? Who, what? I don't. You need mental help. Uh, Mods, break his neck. I was never a Marvel fanatic. You are. You collect yeah. every single goddamn thing ever made by Marvel. Yeah. Also, guys, let me know if you want to see another room tour, hey? <laughs> let me, guys, let me know if you guys want to see a higher quality stop motion. The f you say to me, <laughs> you little shit? Alright, Will Smith. Keep uh, gonna... my game's name out your f***ing mouth. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. You can explain a little more if you want. I also, I think... Even though it's hard as shit, I, I do really like the gameplay. That's fair. Like, honestly, especially the wall climbing mechanic. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. Like, honestly, I don't know why this hasn't been done. I can definitely see a ROM for Spider-Man because of that. Yeah. I'm genuinely surprised there's a Deadpool ROM, but not a Spider-Man one. I am super surprised. Also, like, since it's... Deadpool climb walls. I mean, he can, but, like, Spider-Man's known for that. Yeah, with his web-slinging... Uh, uh, with his white stuff spl uh, swinging shit. Yeah, with his, uh... With his, uh, eject... 
Well, anyway. you eject Oh, uh, yeah, but... A little off topic, but this game can, like, actually just be a basics for, like, many fan games, like, reskins. I thought you said... I thought you were about to say this game could go burn in a fire. No, but this I game can be Why used. is it your 20th favorite? This game can be used to make a lot of fan games. Like, you could make a Ninja Turtles fan game because of the mechanics of Spite. A little bit of sense. Yeah, it, if you guys don't know, yes, Ninja Turtles can climb the walls because they made these, like, hand-grippy things. I don't know. And that did... Back in my day, those didn't exist. Yeah, but you're not that old, Grandpa. As you literally said, only old people. That my... Okay, Mr. 85. Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> anyway. Was that the bite of 85 and the bite of 87? But yeah, um... Uh, so yeah, um... It can also be used for, like, Spider-Man stuff, like we just went over. But yeah, he's an idiot. I... Can, can we stop bickering now and let me cook? Yep. Cook what? My di- My boy, what? Anyway. So... Yeah, um, I, I didn't really use the, uh, weapon switching mechanic. That's fair, I never really use that either. And I will also say, this game feels very unfair, though. What, Ninja Gaiden? Yeah. <laughs> yep! Genuinely, this game can be... <clears throat> Go burn in a hell. Honest, and that's what the cover is as well, it's legit hell. It is hell! The whole city is burning in hell. <laughs> also, after after like playing this game and now wanting You're to play, more humbled at life. Now wanting to play uh uh two and three. Uh, honestly, I really like Ryu. Yup. Genuinely, he's cool as shit. Yeah, he's a freaking ninja. Yeah, no, it's now more that, than that. He like, that he just looks so cool. cool but you this do that doesn't sound like something cool, but actually, fun fact, Ryu is the first ninja to ever be fe uh, featured in a video game. That's actually pretty cool. So, it, in the 80s, that was a big-ass deal. Honestly, like, that's really cool. the first ninja to be in a game. Also, I don't really like the remakes of, the, if, of these games. They're horrible. They're absolute shit. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. Um, this might be, like, one of my favorite characters. He's just cool. Yep. Genuinely. Alright, enough meat riding for you. Um. Meat riding? Wait, what? That's what does what, meat riding mean? That's what you call someone who just won't stop talking about this one thing. Like, oh. it's obsessed with this one thing or guy. Why is it called meat riding? Cause you're hey, you know what? Never mind. I'm yeah. afraid I'll learn something sexist. It's not sexist. Meat riding. It's not sexist. What meat you ride in there, buddy? Dick. Sexist. Anyways. It's not sexist. Do you know what that means? Dick. No, it doesn't. You just said dick. Anyways. <laughs> sexist means you're like. Okay, it doesn't matter. It does! How do you not know this? Sexist means you don't like other genders. Every makes fun of me for everything that I do at school. Literally, if I could have a penny for every single time a girl has called me sexist, I would be as rich as Jeff Bezos. How? I would have the net worth of Why Jeff Why do they call you sexist? Because they're freaking girls. That's Teenagers. sexist. That's real sexist. Guess what? They can go show sexist. All right, off topic. All right, we're well, yeah. on to you for your number twenty. My twentieth favorite game is Doctor Mario. What the fuck? What? Really, Doctor Mario? I thought it was all right, but damn. Yeah. Doctor Mario. Alright, fair enough. Like, the NES one, I assume. Which other- well, I mean, there is the shitty mobile one, so- There's a bunch of other versions for other consoles. Yeah. They were 
all shit, though, so. Hasn't there been, like, a Dr. Mario for, like, almost every console up to, like, the Wii U? If there's literally been a Dr. Luigi, do not ask me if there's been a Dr. anything else. Has there been a Dr. Wow with you? That would have been actually cool, but no. Dr. Wild Luigi. Because, you know, Nintendo hates its fans. Dr. Wario. Dr. Wowie. Dr. Wowie Wario. Alright, continue yeah, to cook. It's just, a re it's just Tetris 2, but Mario style. Keep oh. cooking, my guy. Do you want me to elaborate a little bit more? Yes. Okay, uh, so, the cool, uh, the cool part about it is, like, the pills keep falling down, and you're like, this could be a cool concept, because, like, someone might be dying or something, so you need to save their ass or something. It's a pretty cool idea. Also, I see a lot of people calling the, uh, germs in this game aliens, and you're all dumb. How the hell do those things look like aliens? I mean, Aliens but the folks! The, atten the antennas, I mean, but, like, they're germs. He's a Antenna. doctor, of course he would be okay, fighting one germs. One of them has bunny ears, and one of them have, like, devil horns. Do not get me started on they look like aliens. Fair. The yellow one does look like an alien, because it has those weird, like, bulbs, or ears, like an alien does, but the blue one has rabbit ears, and the red one has devil ears. Do yeah. not even get started on how they look like a freaking alien, because of their ears. Alright, continue cooking. Uh, and I also like when games, like Mega Man... Let you pick where you want to start off first. You don't have to progress through the levels to unlock new levels. You can just say, oh, I want to go to level 20 immediately. Mm. Just like how I'm cooking up some bars here with this game, you are going to get cooked if you use that strategy, though. You are going to die almost immediately oh, unless you're, yeah. like, at Tetris. I can't make it past, like, level 6 or 7. Can't blame you. I've never beaten this game, and I never think I will. There's not even an ending for it, is there? Yes, there is. Oh. Oh, look. I th so, that's all I'm cooking up. Damn, we're done cooking. Also, I like how the sprite work is done. For an early NES game, it's pretty good. Yeah, sprite work looks good, though. The music, ooh. What do you mean, oh, the music is good? Nah, man, that title screen music sucks. Damn. Way that's too eerie. Fair. That's... That's fair. Genuinely, that title screen music is ass, bro. I don't know how someone with sensitive ears lived through that. Yeah, man, like, honestly, it's just not good. Anyway. Is it good? It's a good title theme for what it is. No, nah, it's not even that. It's not even good. Just straight up. Okay. It's ass. Anyways, so that's sheets. up 20 pick. What's your 19th? Let's speed this up a little bit. You're not gonna like this one. Don't say it. It is... Du -du 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 and you're gonna be really mad that I put it after uh, Ninja Gaiden. I don't even care, just keep going. Okay, it's, uh, 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 Captain America and the Avengers. I can see why you say that, actually, now. Yeah, never, I guess you're just gonna tell me. I re to replayed it on my mini handheld thing, and damn, I actually kind of liked it now. Yeah, honestly, honestly, this game's good. It doesn't go in one of my top 20 slots, though. Honestly, bro, I do like, I love this game, like, Oh, wait, should we rate these? Out of ten? No. Okay. That'll take a hundred thousand years. Not really, you just gotta say a number. And I just took one thousand years, and I would... Alright, let me cook. ...make a thousand more just to rate these. So, yeah, um, uh, bro, bro, we're, what? we're making a podcast, no time for singing. Okay. Bro, just stop my man from cooking. Yeah, 
Let me let me heat up with some bars, all right? No, man. All right. Anyway. That's cool. Uh, I just gotta <laughs> say. Oh, I'm gonna get my cartridge out actually. Hey, this is like the only NES game you own currently that I don't. Yeah. Uh, you. I don't think you own Silver Surfer or Monopoly either. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I one of the next games I'm gonna buy is Silver Surfer. It's That's a good, good choice, even though it's hard. It's yeah. It's, it's hard. It's good. Honestly, I will say the cover here, like the, you know, it's kind of misleading. What for Captain? In Amer America and the Avengers, it's pretty misleading. Why do you say that? Because the only playable characters is. Cap and Hawkeye, and they just got Iron Man and Vision out here. So. Okay, that's very true. Like, honestly, it's a bit crummy. I mean, they are in the cutscenes, but they just die. Well, they don't die, they get knocked out, but. Also, I don't know why the limited roster of characters, like. Was it hardware limitations? Could they not have more than two characters playable? I'm gonna guess hardware limitation. I mean, it's fair, because Cap and Hawkeye are I'm pretty different. I'm Mega Man, there's Proto Man and Roll and Base to pick through. Well, in the NES games, you only play as Mega Man. Exactly. Probably because of hardware limitations. They probably yeah. would have made playable characters if they had more room. Yeah. That's why the PSP did it. Also, some they had enough some room to do it. Personal thing. Um, my copy of the cartridge here, it, the little corner is like. Flipped. And so all of you, all of you NES fans are going to die when you hear this. It's kind of like it flipped. You know, you know, like when you have paper and you bend the corner. That would happen to mine. And guess what he did, guys? I taped he it. He taped it! He taped the damn cartridge! Yeah. Every NES fan, including me, is dying right now. Anyway, before I make you guys blow a gasket... What? Oh, nothing. Uh, but about the actual game, um... Honestly... Uh, the gameplay's fun. I don't really like the enemies that just block your path. Yeah. Like, you know the guys on the map? Where the, 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 like, black guys? Not not racist, but, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Not all night, are you all for being racist? Nope. Uh, you, yeah. The black and white guys that are on the map. Okay, let's, yeah. Yeah, those guys, uh, you, I don't think you can beat them. So, you just gotta avoid them, which is BS. I don't like that. Kind of uh, like the Hammer no, Bro, kind of like the Hammer Bro from Mario 3, but you can't kill him. Wow, that's actually a really good description of him. Yeah. And one that people will probably get. Uh, also... Yeah, bes because everybody has played Mario 3. Besides the fact that the cover is a bit misleading, I do really like the cover art. Yeah. Like, especially the logo, how it, like... Alright, oh, it just looks very good. Yeah. And, uh, finally, uh, for a perfect copy of this game, it's 80 damn dollars, which is bullshit. That's... Honestly, that's too much. I paid 40 for, for mine. Uh, wait, what is it for? 80 dollars. For what is it? For what? At 80 dollars for a cartridge that doesn't have anything on the cover. What? Yup. You gotta be shitty. Mine was booked down forty dollars just because of the little crease in the corner. Honestly, I would say it was worth. You got it. a deal, buddy. Yeah, man. Anyway, so, and one final thing, uh, Hawkeye is much funner to play as than Cap. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, moving back on to you for number nineteen. Iron Sword, Wizards and Warriors two. Yes. I have bumped up one of my honorable mentions from the last videos into my top 20. Honestly, that's fair, but I don't really like Iron Sword 2 all that much. It's a fine yeah. game, don't get me wrong, but 
the difficulty, bro. Yeah. God damn. It is pretty hard. Like, and on also, the... I don't, what would you describe this? Because it's not a side scroll because you go upwards. It's a platformer. It's not even a side scroller, it's a platformer. Oh, fair. Uh. You, okay. you try to aim for platforms, so I'm pretty sure that's what a platformer is. Fair enough. Am I not wrong? Uh, no, you're not wrong. Nice. So, yeah, it's a side, or it's not a side scroller. It's a action platformer. Really hard. Very hard. Like, honestly, hard oh, it's a good yeah. game, and it's very cheap. Like, I got my copy for, like, 12 bucks. Oh, I, when I was down in Newfoundland, or when I was in Newfoundland, I, like, I used to live there. When I was in Newfoundland, I got a copy for $10. Yeah, man, like, this game, I, even though it's hard, honestly. Like, hard, man? Like, honestly, it, it's good still yeah especially for the price like this if this game was going for 40 i would i would probably never buy it god on hell yeah honestly for like that much way too much money for 40 dollars anyway i'll let you cook about the actual uh, gameplay and stuff now so while your attack until you get an actual sword is shit it is horrible you actually don't do any damage, actually, which we all know is horrible in a video game. Fun fact, I can't get past the first boss fight in this game, which is on the second level. I have only done it three times. How never far have you gone? I've never beaten this game. Me neither. You I don't are think a I bloody ever legend is, if you beat this game. It is a short game. game. It's like 20 minutes on, um... What's his name? On, um... You can be video games. He made a video on this game and shows a few hacks. Honestly, uh, honestly, no. really quickly, uh, if you're gonna play this game, watch that video. Th it is such a good way to play the game. Especially with that. the sheet codes he gives you. And also, how to uh, a way how to get infinite money at the start of the game. Yeah, man. I used that once, and I still died. Well, I mean, it's not very helpful, but... You know, you can buy everything in the shop now. Yeah, without, without like, breaking your budget. Because yeah. right after you buy everything, just go back into the... You uh, just buy gambling. everything, and then you're just and like, come here, birdies. The whole, and then just redo the whole process all over again. You just you just buy everything in the shop, go out the door, come here, birdies. Hey, you're Jeff Bezos again. Huh? Bezos and Iron Sword do. There is? What? No, I said you are when you do that trick. Oh, I thought you said Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos is an Iron Sword. Yo! Even then, who cares about Jeff Bezos? Yeah, man, he's like Lex he's Luthor not the looking at him. Honestly, like, goddamn. Donald Trump and the three presidents are. To be honest, like, bro. To be honest. Yeah. Lex Luthor, no cap. Off topic. Yo. So, like we were saying, until Mr. Interrupted. No, just kidding. Um. Also, the like, cover art is pretty this weird. This game is for really fun. I'll just warn you guys the third stage. Wow, it's hard to navigate through. I haven't even gotten there. I have, and I never passed it. One thing that I want to say is it that people make these Let's Plays, like, one video Let's Plays, where they beat these extremely hard games, and it's done, like, what, like, 20 minutes? Yeah. Like, Silver Surfer, I saw one, 40 minutes. Someone beat this game in 40 damn minutes. Nah. Genuinely, no, bro. No, they did not. Yes, they did. Holy shit. 40 minutes to beat, like, the fourth hardest game on the NES. You are... And one of the hardest games in the world, I'd say. Honestly, bro, this game is... Universally, it's, like, one of the hardest games. Actually, bro. I, I was flabbergasted. I was flabbergasted. Like, honestly, flabbery-wabbity. Wabbit. 
Wabbit. Wabbity wabbit. Anyway. Wabbity wabbity. Uh, you got anything else to cook up? No. Oh. I've done my lecture for this game. Damn. Overall, you find it for uh, for 15 bucks and under, buy it. Honestly, you don't even need to buy it, because there's this website called RetroGames.cc. Any old game that we talk about in this video, you could probably pl find it on there. Yeah. So if you want to play any of these video, any of these old video games we mentioned, go on RetroGames.cc. Not sponsored, but, you know. Unless we are! Go check out no, 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 no. No, they don't even know we exist. I don't think they even have a soul, so... Yeah. I know. Damn. They're probably just a computer system. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so that is my 19th game. Time for you to go on your 18th. Alright. My... Are we still recording? Of course we are. Okay, just making sure until it comes out. Alright. So, my um, 18th favorite game is actually one that came out fairly recent, 2022. Oh. I don't know what it is, but just, oh. It's honestly a very fun beat-em-up. Oh. Well, not beat-em-up. It's like I know a, what you're talking about. It's a fighting game. And I know what you're talking about. it is Gigabash. Oh. So that's why you asked me to spell Giga before. Yeah. I've heard of this game before. Honestly, bro, it's really fun. There's a new update coming out soon. Yo. Like, honestly, they're gonna be adding... You know you're, like, happy in life when an update for, like, one of your favorite games comes out? Hell yeah, man. Me and my friend are gonna be grinding on that. So, they're gonna be adding a Ultraman. Oh, and you have another friend besides me? No, I'm kidding. They're gonna be adding Ultraman, if you guys know what that what? is. You're adding Ultraman? Yeah. Oh my god. You know who that is? I've heard of his name before. Isn't he a Marvel character? No, he's a, uh, kite. He's... I actually have a figure of him right here. I'll show you. Oh my god! Yep! I played a Mega Man ROM hack. It's called Mega Man CX. The first Wily bosses. His is just him. No way. Yeah. That's actually sick, bro. Like honestly, I can't wait to buy it. They're gonna add him and like four, three of his villains. Yo, that's crazy. And they actually have one DLC out already. It came out a while ago. It's of Godzilla. What? They got this indie game got licensing from God frickin Zilla. Holy shit. And they have, like, Godzilla, Gigan, Destroyer, and Mecha Godzilla. Oh, oh my god. And this game, I god love this game's crazy. original kaijus. I'll, I'll, just show, I'll just show you right here, Drake, that you just can't see, but these are the original kaijus. Damn. Like, genuinely, these guys go deep. They have, like, Gundam-ish characters. They got, like, like normal, like, kaijus. They have an Ultraman ripoff, which is funny, because they're actually adding Ultraman now. Yep. And, uh, and this game, out. this game has a, just, like, it has a good multiplayer, it's the best part, but the single player is also really good. Did, uh, do you um, know why? have a big fan base? Uh, it's, it has a Discord with, like, a lot of members, I will say that. Alright. I'm a part of that Discord, that's how I know Ultraman is coming. Yo! But, part of a Discord server. One of my favorite parts is the arcade mode. Really? Honestly. Every... Man, that, this is a rare time where I ever hear someone say arcade mode is the best mode for anything. If you don't know what that is, it's basically just continuous rounds of you fighting different monsters. Which and, they probably do from an arcade. And there is a end, and if you beat every boss you get a you get skins for your monsters if you do them which is really cool which is actually rewarding instead of just doing it for nothing yeah instead of just doing it for like 
skin, or for, like, and some I'll of the buff. skins you get from this, actually, like, some of, most of them are recolors, but some of them are full model changes. Yeah. They had to make different hitboxes and everything for some of these. Yep. And, uh, yeah, there's also four story modes, which covers four of the playable monsters. Yeah. There's a story mode for Go Gorgon, Thunder Ross, Pip Jam Jamaris. Yeah. These names are hard to pronounce. And Wooly. Oh. I think they're going to be adding other story modes, I hope, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But that's all I got to say about this game, except for one more thing. Okay. Please add Gamera. Yeah. I am begging you. He, like, you have Ultraman, you got Godzilla, you got, you got to complete the big name monsters. Yeah. And I know who he is, don't worry. Good. Uh, and, so yeah, um, moving back on to you now, Drake. Actually, um, pause the podcast right after I say the sentence. I want to do a quick little, um, I want to do, like, a quick little thing for the viewers. Can you, like, pause it and then, uh, add on to the same thing? I can't pause, but I can mute. Okay. I was gonna do a quick thank you to the listeners of Retro Rain, um, for supporting us, and I know you guys haven't really done a lot yet because we just started, but, um, we've had a lot of views lately, like, we posted Mega Man 11, how many days ago? I think, like, three? A few days? How long ago? Like, two? Oh, I'll see. And it has, like, 15 views. That doesn't sound like a lot, but for us, that's, like, a million dollars. Yeah. That's a lot of views for two days. And especially since podcasts are, like, a few hours long, that means that Ooh, someone um... could probably have stuck around to listen to our podcast, which means a lot. Like, honestly, so, our podcast only has 15 episodes, and it's doing really good. Yeah, like, I think we have over 100 and something, almost 200 views on every single podcast video yeah, combined. Yeah, hang on, I'll see really quickly. Um, like, combined together. Yeah, hang on, I'll see. I'll see. So... I just, again, I just really want to thank you guys for that. Uh, really means a lot. We just come back from school, from a hard day of school, and we just sit down and talk about... What we want to. And some shit. Random good shit. Yeah. You Sometimes bad that, shit, that was... like Mega Man 8. Not bad shit. Mid shit. Okay shit. It's mid shit. Anyway, why are we writing shit? Let's move on. Yeah. Back on to you for number 18. My number 18 game is Metroid. <sighs> this Damn. is gonna piss people off. Honestly, I can't- I don't really like Metroid. The OG Metroid, not- nah, I just don't like any Metroid. They're too complicated. And here's where I'm gonna add on to that. I cannot play Metroid 1 or any Metroid game without a goddamn map. Yeah, man. Like, I, like, like seriously, I have downloaded a few maps of, of from IGN. I don't know where they are. I think IGN made a few maps. And I had to use them to get through the game. You should not have to do that when you're playing a game. Honestly, I played Metroid Dread, I haven't played any other, but honestly... That's how you know a game is bad, when you have to use maps to know where the hell you're going. Honestly, I stayed up like one full night of summer, I was playing this game straight, and then I got I past... I figure out where the hell to go. I got past the second boss, and I just was like, no, like, screw this, I'm done, this sucks. And I know and there are people that, that love my, Metroid games, but well. it's just like, not for you know us. I was just like, you know what, uh, like, my initial reaction was like, you know what, I fought hard, but I've not fight mighty, 
screw this game, I don't want to see it again. I am gonna back down and give up. Never back down, never what? Give Always up! give up. <laughs> That's what you have to say when you're talking about Metroid. Yeah. It's a pain. Yeah. So, this yeah. Is a deadly laser. That's all I'm gonna say. Fair. On to you. Alright, on to me for number 17? Yup. Alright. No, for number 17, this one has been bumped down a lot. Okay. For my I'm our previous top 10. Curious now. It is Vector Man 2. Oh! Wow, you got rid of that! Oh my god. Your 17th? Yeah, for Vector oh Man 2. God! That is the harshest shit I've ever heard you say! What? Wow! Oh my god! Vector Man 2 was only at number 7 last time. You ranked it down 10 games! I know! Holy shit! There... You do not- You do not know how much of a big deal that is. I still love and this game. A lot of games. I still love this game, but just not as much as others. That's fair. And also, uh, fuck you, Sega, for not making Vector Man three. <sighs> Genesis Damn. was too late in its life to make a third game. They could have done one on Sega Saturn. I don't care if it would have been shit. I just want my yeah, green boy. Yeah, but the boy. Sega Saturn didn't sell that well. I don't care if it's gonna be shit. I just want my green boy back. That's fair. Anyway, enough crying over Vector Man. Yep. Over fucking Vector Stop Man. Stop mourning! Stop mourning, you little boy. Crying over Vector Man is sad, bro. That is my new love. That is my new passion, crying over Sega not. Oh, crying over Sega being stupid. Anyway, uh, honestly, if you have. Well, if you want to play this game, which I recommend you do, but I recommend the first one more. If you do want to play- Buy Sega Genesis, and buy the cartridge, and you might as well buy the first one as well. Yeah, but I think it's on Retro Games CC, not sure. Yeah, I'm almost sure. It is a retro game. Don't know why it's called CC, probably because it's subtitles or something like that, but whatever. Uh, uh but yeah. The, the game plan stuff, honestly, really fun. It's Vector Man 1, if you know the gameplay from that, but less vir. I think this game was rushed because there's not much vi vir vir variety. variety in this, like, game. As much as the first I think one. the reason it was rushed was because, you know, Genesis's life was dying. Yeah, so they had to rush it. What was it, 1994 this game came out? I think. Yeah, the NES was also breathing its last breaths around this time. It was either they were rushing it for that, or they were rushing it like Sega is most known for doing for Sonic and other games for Christmas, because this was released on November. <sighs> yeah. It also could be. This is just speculation for me. Just like Mega Man 3, they could have rushed it because they wanted money. Yeah. They felt like it could have been a profitable series. But anyway. And then they sold this game and they were like, mm, it's not that doing that well. If I had to be serious, this game's bosses are ten times as worse as the first ones. That is so valid. Like, honestly, the bo everything in this game just feels like it was rushed. Honest I still love this game. It's my number 17th favorite game, but like... It feels rough. It's just not hitting that right spot that the first one did. Yeah, the first one hit so many good points. Variation, boss design, boss... Everything. Just boss everything. No, just everything was good. But, like, was this top, one... Was top tier. Even, I would say the soundtrack is a bit worse as well. Really? Which I would say is, like, impossible, because Vector Man's soundtrack goes hard as shit. But, like... 
Honestly, the first one was just better at everything. Fair. Very, very, Which very I find fair. funny because people like this one more. Which is... I mean, people like Mega Man 2 more than every game Why ever Why do people created. like the number 2 so much? Well, I mean, besides movies, why do people like the For number two so even, much? Even with movies, Spider-Man 2 is considered the best Spider-Man movie, which is... Um, people, people say sequels are horrible, but I gotta say... That's BS. Well, Man, a lot of sequels I, are better. World of Fun, Mega Man, everything. Sequels can be way better. Yeah, like, also, I just everything. don't understand this. Why are g video games with the number 5 in it so expensive? I don't know. Anyway, back to back to yeah. man. Off topic. Um, no, this is more of a personal thing, but there's no merchandise for this game. What? There's no merchandise for Vector Man in general. Holy shit. So that really? means I cannot have a action figure of my green boy fighting and beating the shit out of Spider-Man. Which he would. Obviously. Probably he would. No, nah, he would, bro. This man is a green man. That's a problem. Vector Man and Mega Man and them have guns. Uh, not even a gun. This is like electricity or some shit, man. Yeah, plasma cannon. Honestly, bro. What do you mean, honestly, bro? It probably is. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and the final boss, it, it sucks. Final boss is terrible. Honestly, worst part about this game. Anyway. Hot take, but okay. It's not, bro. Warhead was such a better villain and boss in oh, this Oh, I'll agree with it. Yeah, now that I think about it, you're probably right. Like, honestly. Anyway, uh, now we're moving on to your number 17. Number 17, Ninja Turtles. The sure. first one. That's valid. And before you say oh, I haven't even right. played it, I have on the Calabunga Collection. Many better and uh, games that are just better in general on the NES. Yeah, like every game is a b is better on original hardware. Yeah. That's just facts. Like no one's arguing with that. Every game is better on original hardware unless the game was improved on like a remake or something. Yeah. And I mean like a remake, oh. not reimagining like Ninja Gaiden. This game is way too hard. To the fact where it should not exist, but yeah. it's just wow, it's hard. Every Go Ninja hard, Turtle like game hard. is hard. What? Every Ninja Turtle game is hard. This is the hardest. Yes, definitely. Just like hard man, but seriously, honestly, all I... hard man jokes aside, this is the hardest one. I think this might be one of my favorite, one of if not my favorite turtle game because. It's not one of those weird, like, top-ish down beat-em-up games. You know, those ones where you just walk up. Yep. Yeah, it's actually, uh, like, a 2D platformer. And a beat-em-up at the same time. Yeah, uh, you keep talking. I will be right back. Okay, so, this game is really good, I think, because... Wow, it's nostalgic not for me, but for many people. Um, if you hadn't... If you had an NES, you had Ninja Turtles. Like, do not lie, you had Ninja Turtles. It's just such a popular game. Can't blame it. Kids just didn't know what they were doing back in the 80s when they were liking games. Mega Man 2! One of the worst Mega Man games. Get over it. It's not that good. And everybody rates it as high as the skies, so... Um, it's not worth what it's given. I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, Ninja Turtles, people say, is like one of the best NES games on the NES. It doesn't deserve that title. It does deserve the title for one of the best games on the NES, but it doesn't deserve, er, deserves one of my favorite games, but not one of the best games on the NES. I definitely felt like some of the other games were more polished. 
than this Ninja Turtles in specific. It's just not what I would be thinking of when I think of turtles. Yeah. It's not... It's not exactly what I... Now I know I can't have everything that I want in the world, but it's not exactly what I want. It's not anything of exactly anybody what they want. Also, I gotta add on, graphics in this game, ooh. They're really bad. Like, look Another at other game games on this game system. The these are... Terrible. Honestly, these are worse than Mega Man 1 graphics. And I'm gonna say something else. The screen tearing in this game is also so bad. Yeah. It's like it's horrible. The one thing I do have to say makes me wonder why this wasn't in Cap and the Avengers. You can play as all four tur turtles. Yeah, that's like again hardware limitations, but that's a good idea. Like I'm surprised because Cap and the Avengers only had two. They could have easily made. Iron Man and Vision Four. playable. Yeah. Like, they actually, did. that confuses me. Well, I mean, I was about to oh, say that. Oh, it's probably because the graphics are higher. I was about to say that higher. game came out earlier than this one did, but nope. It's probably because the graphic, like, pixel count is higher. Yeah. In all honesty, that's probably the whole reason. Yeah. That's probably why you can't play as like any other characters in Mega in the NES Mega Man games as well. Yeah, and also because the Mega Man games were highly detailed themselves. Yeah. Oh, so there's that. So. Also, they might be able to have four playable characters because they're all just reskins with different moves. Yup. Because with other games, like, I, I keep bringing this up with Cap and the Avengers, they had to make completely different sprites for everyone. Yeah. So it makes sense with this one, because it was just a simple headband change. And also the weapons were different. Also, you asked me about this. Why on the cover their masks were red and in the game there were different colors? Yep. I think I know the reason. I think the game designers were taking, like, like, uh... Inspiration from the comics. Inspiration f The game designers were taking inspiration from the show, and the, and the, like, cover designers, the box arts, were taking, like, inspiration from the original work. Oh. Because, originally, sense. they all had the same headband color. And also, Which April was black. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, okay game. Yeah. It's not a game I would die for. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. So yeah, moving on to your 16th? Yep. Favorite? Now, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary people, uh, we are moving on to the shiny, the hard, and... The fabulous Silver Surfer! Yay! Wow. You've had this game for one day and you're already saying that. Yup. Holy shit. Did you really like it that much? Yeah, I've already- I've only been two levels, though. That's fu- uh, that's fair. I well, have I played the other ones, just haven't beaten them. Wanna know another game I think you'd like that's, like, insanely goddamn hard? Wolf Battletoads? Yup. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I knew it was coming. As soon as you said insanely hard, I was like, Battletoads? Yeah. Although there is Toads that are that look weirder than Toad Man, they are really... It's a good series, that, like, the... Like, it's a really good game. I'm surprised they gave the, um, I wish... I'm surprised I'm they gave surprised that they one Robot Master from Mega Man 4 a game. What? I'm surprised they gave that one Robot Master from Mega Man 4 a game. <laughs> yup. Anyway, back on to Silver Surfer. Yeah. 
I have to say one weird thing about this is that some of the levels are 2D platforms while the others are up down side scrollers. Or, yeah. I guess you would call it up down scroller, I don't know. So uh not side scrolling. I have to say the <laughs> side that's still, No, that's still scrolling to the side. I have to say the side scrolling levels are definitely where this game peaks. The top and bottom ones like the ones that are like the, um, oh, Angry Video Game Nerd made a video on this. I'm gonna have to watch that later. On, what? Silver Surfer. I'm gonna have to watch that later. Yeah, he hates it. I'm gonna watch that later. Um, but yeah. He, well, he also made a video of top ten hardest games, and it came in as, like, his third. Fair. Honestly, so. I, I, we made that top five hard games before I even had this, that would have been way different if I had this. Oh, but then you're number one. Hell yeah, man. This game is hard as shit. Most likely. And, but yeah, uh, now, let me cook uninterrupted here for a second. Okay. I'm just gonna spitball some shit. Now, okay. really quickly, sprite work in this game, it's not the best. Everything feels a bit zoomed out, but I do like it. Okay, that's fair. Uh, second thing I want to bring up is that, um, uh, the designs of the different characters in this game is also good. Alright, that's I fair. I think, I, I'm not sure, I love Marvel, but I don't think these guys, like, the bosses are from anything. So. Eh. Yeah, probably not. I think they're all just original, but then again, I don't read any, like, cosmic Marvel stuff, so I wouldn't know. You also don't read manuals, so... Yeah. Probably I don't even have don't the manual, have... so... If I had the manual, I'd look through it, but I don't. And... Let me just say one other thing. These are from the exact words of ABGN, which is Angry Video Game Nerd. You go up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, right, left, right, you're always dead. No matter where you go in this game, you're dead. Yo. He said, like, this is exactly what he said. You go on the floor, you die. You touch the ceiling, you die. You go on, I think you t uh, touch a brick or a wall, you die. If you, you touch die. anything, you're dead. Doesn't you matter what it is. You're dead. You do anything, you're dead. I have to say, it's BS that you're one shot. That's, that's what makes it hard. If I was in charge of this game, I would have made you three shot. Yeah, that should be the regular for these kind of games. Or, I would have made it three or four shots. I would have liked it if he had a normal health bar like Mega Man, but three shots would have been good as well. A normal health bar would have been terrible. Actually, no, it would have, I would have even preferred if they went with the Cap and the Avengers route, where they did two, two health bars, but you take two shots for each. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Like, you get shot once... And then you get shot again, and then one of your health tanks go. Yep. And you have two of those, so you get four shots. So, I think that would be fair, but... Yep. Also, I feel like the projectiles that you shoot are just too weak. Yeah. Like, they should be, like... You should be able to, like, three-shot normal enemies, I feel. Yep. That would be way more fair. Uh, and finally, the last thing I want to talk about with this game is box art. It looks good. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Box art looks actually really good. Yep. You got Silver Surfer, like, flying towards the camera while behind you. You got, like, a shooting star. You got some asteroids. It all just looks really good. What company made this? No. That's not a yes question, bro. Oh, wait, sorry. What'd you say? You just- did you just zone out and kept saying yeah? Yeah, my mom's texting me about something. Uh, sorry, okay. what'd you- But, what, uh, what company made this game? I do not know. Huh. 
It's on the title, like it's actually on the middle of the box art. But yeah. One um, thing. One thing I don't like. Uh, I'm so sorry I have to do this. I'm still gonna be talking, but um, I just remembered I do have uh something I need to finish really quick. But I, I can like on uh for school. But I'll uh I'll actually I'll still be talking though. Don't worry about it. All right. Hopefully. Please but if I zone out a little bit, it's because I'm just working on something. All right, but it's uh your turn by the way for number sixteen. Oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. So um. Super Mario Bros. 3. Okay. Um, it's weird. It doesn't make total sense. Yeah. But, yeah, it's all good. Um, it's a good game. It's my favorite Mario game. I think if it's I a lot of people's it favorite. Or it might be my favorite, but what? I think it's a lot of people's favorite. What, Mario 3? Yeah, people say it, it's definitively the best game on the NES. Which, nah. Yeah, no way. That's what I said as well. Like, it's good, but like, god dang. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you gonna keep cooking, my guy? Yep. Says so yes, that's... but proceeds to not cook. Shut up. Anyways, so I'll, um... I'll cook. Uh, so... Yeah, it's... There's not a lot to say that hasn't been said already. Yeah, that's fair. Um. So. Um. Yeah, I just don't have anything to say about it. Yeah, because this game's already been talked to death. Yeah, just go watch something else about it. Or based yeah. around it. So. That's my 15th down. That's 16th. Your 16th down to your 15th. Now my 15th is a modern game, so I guess it's a good thing that you're zoning out. I'm not going to listen to it. Damn, alright. Uh, but anyway, uh, my 16th is uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2 slash 3. Damn it, I was listening. Yeah, but they're basically, from what I can tell, it's Modern Warfare 3 is just an expansion of 2. You just get a new campaign and some more maps and stuff. Yeah. But Modern Warfare 2, honestly, this game, I don't play it all the time. But when i bored, don't have anything else to do, I boot up uh, MW2, like the new one that's out. Yeah. Came out a little bit ago, but you know, the new one. The one that has Black Noir. Yep. Yep. Honestly. This, like, it's fun. It's fun to boot up, just play. I, I do like it more than Fortnite. Sorry, all you little kids. <laughs> Sorry, little men. I like it more than Fortnite. Yep. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I love all the crossovers down in this game. There's not, definitely not as much as Fortnite, but... There are yep. quite a few. My favorite ones, including uh, Doom, even though Doom Slayer's not in it. We do have his, like, chainsaw and shotgun. Yep. We got uh, Spawn, which is cool as shit. Yeah. Spawn is just a badass, like, in anything. Yeah. And then we also have the boys crossover with Homelander, Starlight, and Black Noir. Yeah. So, yeah, uh... The gameplay is, I haven't played the campaign, I play it free-to-play, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, uh, I, 
love, and I mean love, the, um, you know, the very, very nice and kind people who ve say very nice and religious things to you. It's always yeah. just very, no, it's like they say the most racist shit you ever hear in your life. You will hear yeah. these little Timmy and Sound and MFs just going off on yeah. saying the N-word over and over. Little yep. Timmy dies? Oh no, black people, you better run. <laughs> that might have been racist, why I just said, I don't know. Um, Who isn't racist these days? What the Me. fuck? <laughs> Me, but... Because I'm perfect, but... Oh, Whatever. nah, bro likes the Wii U and says he's perfect. Bro likes Mega Man 5 and thinks he's... Bro like Mega Man 10 and he thinks he's perfect. Holy yeah, shit, I, I just realized Ghost Mask, the nose on Ghost Mask is legit a ball sack. Did we really need that? Yes, we did. Oh my god. No, Ghost... no we didn't. You can but, stop talking. Yeah. Ghost, we did not need that. I know, for some reason... We did not need that. Shut need the... That. I love how whenever I piss you off, you're like, Shut the fuck up! <laughs> anyway, uh... What's my favorite part of doing this with you? Uh, so yeah, I... Honestly, Ghost is... Honestly, yeah. Ghost is really cool. Yeah. Until he took off his mask, and then everybody wanted it to uh, wanted him to put it back on. Just no. hey, just like Dream. Wait, he put he took off his mask. I didn't know this. Yeah. Ghost. Face. You've never seen his actual face. No, I didn't even know he ever took it off. Once I think. You sure? Yup, I've seen a picture of it. All I'm I finding is a crusty, it. musty, dusty-ass image. What? All I'm seeing is a very pixelated image. Of what? Of ghost face, and they're all just like pixelated or fan renders. I know there was one official photo, and people were like, fussed up about it so much. And it was like, guys, it doesn't even look that bad. It looks like the average man. Oh, I think I see it now. Okay, yeah. Eh, yeah, he looks average. I guess everyone was so disappointed because they all w are simping for him for some reason. Yeah. You all need to get a life. Yas, queen. I hate it when people just simp for these characters who would just treat them like shit in real life. I'm not saying ghosts would, but... Yeah. You know, like those cringe anime fans who... Ghost um, would roast all of your asses. For real, bro. Ghost a real one. Like, over a campfire. Honestly, bro. Ghost a real one. He ain't taking none of that shit. Yeah, he's just saying, you are not going to piss me off. I'm going to piss you off. He is that guy, for real, for real. You ain't that guy, pal. Trust me, you ain't that guy. He is that guy. Yeah, I know he is. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's all I had to say about this game. Back on to you for number 15. Number 15? We're being a Number super 15, Burger King Foot Man. Lettuce. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, Super Contra. Oh, Contra, yeah, that's a good one. Super Contra, not Contra, Super Contra. That's the- is that the one on the Super Nintendo? Nope. That's the second one. Oh, you- the NES one. There ain't no Super Contra on the SNES. I thought it would, cause like... Cause it has the name Super in it? Yeah. Can't blame you. I- I got confused with the, um, N64, cause everything had 64 in the title for that. And everything on the Super Nintendo has Super on it. Yeah. Super Mario World. You didn't see everything calling itself SNES. It's called 
the Super Nintendo Entertainment Super System. Yeah. I mean, if I had a middle name, I would have gave cook. it. Super what? Cook up, my boy. Okay, this game is ungodly hard. Isn't there a sheet code that gives you, like, infinite lives? Uh, first game. What one are you talking about? It's the one on the Super NES. Super Contra, the second one. On the NES. Yes. Okay. Look. Cool. Super Contra. Cool. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, Cook. I have the first game. Start but it's cooking, no my boy. Any letters better than two. Huh? It's never going to be better than 2. Just like what I say for Mega Man 5. Wait. 5 is always going to be better than 2 in every universe in my You opinion. said it's never going to be better than 2. You like yeah, 2 more than 5? <gasps> no, I said Contra. You said the two same is for Mega Man. I didn't say for Mega Man. Yup, you did. Oh my you god. Did. I thought we said <laughs> let's not fight. I thought we said let's not fight. Man, shut the fuck. I did say that Cook. fight. Okay. Just like Mega Man. I like how whenever I want you to shut never up, gonna be I better just say Cook. Just shut up. Let me talk. Let you cook, okay. Just like Mega Man, the second game, or the, the fifth game for Mega Man 5, is always going to be better than 2. Just like how this game is better than 1. The third game can go burn in a hole. Uh, there's a third one? Yeah, Contra Force. It, it's literally just a Game Boy game put onto the Yeti S with, the same, with the same bricky controls. Mm-hmm. It's literally horrible. Like, I cannot stand it. So, there's that. And then... That's all I can really think about. Yeah. This game. I haven't been, like, emotionally atta uh, attached to this game. Mm. Anyways, we should speed it up a little bit. Yeah, bro. How God long is damn, our podcast? This is gonna be our longest for? podcast. How long has this podcast been for? Uh, an hour and seven minutes. Oh my god, and we have not even gotten through more than six games. Yo. Alright, is it my turn again? Yep. Alright, my number 14 is Five Nights at Freddy's. Security Breach. Pizzeria. Sim. Damn. I've seen that one come back in a fashion uh, lately. Honestly, Pizza Sim is really fun. Honestly, honestly, the night segments are my least favorite part. I like the scrap segments where you interview the animatronics. That's a really cool idea. But the Sim part where it's actually like build your pizzeria, that is so cool. I'm so that sad really that cool. there just isn't a game where you just make a pizzeria. That's actually a really cool idea. Yeah. And also, honestly, I love FNAF, but I wish they ended it story-wise, like mainline story, here. They did. Nah, sto the mainline story is still going. To this day? Yeah. With Security Breach and Help Wanted 2 coming out oh, soon. Jesus. Honestly, like, honestly, let all the, after Pizza Sim, make everything else take place in an alternate universe. Because Pizza Sim's ending is just the perfect way to end FNAF. Yeah. Like, honestly. Like, connection terminated. I'm sorry, just how you a burger. I'm okay, kind of. And for you, my old it? friend, is that all you're gonna say? Of, the deepest pit of hell is opened, hey, waiting for are you. Are you are you gonna stop now? Connection terminated. Can you stop? 
No. Okay, I'm it's my turn for 14. Yo, your turn for 14. Because we're speeding this up a little bit more. Um, Friday the 13th. Okay. Uh, make sure you clarify what one, because there's a modern one. Okay, for the NES. Yeah, all you guys who are doing California Girls on Jason's dead-ass body. <laughs> California uh, Girls, we're on I rate this one so low because... On I, I rate this one so low because... It's just... At the end of the game, right? Yeah. It says... Has Jason finally been defeated? And Hell then LJ... No. Decided to be a dick and said, Ha ha ha, we are not telling. Of so course, he's not he dead. He, that man always comes back. He's quite literally William Madison. Yeah, Afton but kids didn't if know that affected. back then. Yeah, but kids didn't know that back then. So, after the game, you beat it, and then it says, ha, Is Jason really dead? And they say, Ha ha, we're not telling. Oh, fuckers. Everyone who knew Jason knew that, but kids back then who didn't know Jason were like, what the fuck? This came out after the first movie. You wouldn't have known anyways. Nah, no, man. They would have to have known Jason's design. No. They wouldn't have known that Jason always comes back. Because it was the first movie. Then why on the cover is it that, um... Jason is the, his normal self and not the one and not his mom. It should be. It should people be. probably thought it was based off of the first movie or the first movie. In the first movie, it's Jason's mom who's the main killer. What do you mean? Jason literally kills everybody in the first movie. Oh my god, you do not know? Yes, I've watched the movie. You must have watched someone else. In the first J Friday the 13th... No, I watched Friday the 13th. In the first Friday the 13th, everyone knows this, Jason is just a kid. He gets thrown in the lake, and his mom yeah, is and the Yeah, he drowns. One. I know. And his mom is killing everyone. And then Jason comes back, and starts to follow along, and kill everybody. That's in the second movie. Why did Jason start killing people on the one I watched? I don't know. Because it didn't say Friday the 13th too. Bro, just, you were wrong. You're not kidding me on this one. Everyone knows this. And we're not fighting about this again. Didn't everyone, I ask my no, everyone knows, no, 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 shush. Everyone knows this. Jason's mom is the, Jason comes out of the lake at the end of the movie and drags a girl under with him. That's his only kill. In the second movie, he doesn't even have his hockey mask. In the third one, that's where he gets his look. Okay, let me search this up. Everyone knows this. It's a common fact if you even know what who Friday the 13th is. The main, who is the, the main killer in Friday the 13th? Jason Voorhees. Oh my god. No, it's He's not. The main... Who is the main? I... Did you type in Friday the 13th 1? Yep. Who is the main killer? Okay, let's stop doing this. No, 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 no. This is bullshit. We're going to eventually start killing ourselves over something that's not even related Who to the Who is the main killer? Oh my god. This is in why Friday the Thirteenth One, Pamana Fortis. That's his mom's name. No, it's. Show me your screen. Guys, tell this man anyways, in the comments any how stupid he is. Anyways, 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 anyways. We're done talking about this. Guys, in the comments, tell tell this man how stupid he is. Anyway, I am not going to be looking at the comments. Anyway, moving on. Is that all you guys say about the movie? Not the movie, no. the game. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. Thank you for indulging me with that. 
I really appreciate it. It's your turn! Oh, uh, my, uh, Sorry. 13th game? Yes. Is, uh, Bendy and the Dark Revival. No. Yes. No. Uh, you haven't even played it. Yeah, I have. The Dark Revival, the new one that came out? Yep. Okay, yeah, I love it. No. Yes. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk about it. You can do the indulging here. Yeah, so Bendy and the Dark Revival is a very fun game. If I had to say one thing, um... Where the hell is Sammy Lawrence? Like, he didn't come back to this one. He did. He was there, but not as much as I want, because he's my favorite Bendy character. Well, that's what I meant. Yeah, like, honestly, we need more Sammy. We need we need Sammy Lawrence, my god. We do not need... He's not your god. He is. All praise the masked is demon. your daddy? Yes. Dude, this guy wants to have sex with a freaking ink demon. Anyways. Hey, bro. Yeah? We're not gonna fight about this, but when was the Friday 13th video game made? Oh my god. Which one? The first, the one that you talked about that was on your list. Uh, it says... I it says right here it was released in 1989. Yeah, what about it? Is that correct? I think. Okay. By that time, five Friday the 13th movies have been released, and that's, you know. Bullshit. It is. Friday the 13th, 1980. Friday the 13th, 2, 1981. Friday the 13th, 3, uh, 1982, Friday the 13th, 4, somewhere in between 1980, 1985 and 1982, and Friday the, f and Friday the, yeah, 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 19, yep. stick it up your ass. So, yeah, uh, you were wrong, and I finally win one of those arguments, because I have up. valid proof. No, you do not. I do! It's Google, you still bro! still could have been based it off of the no, main I'm movie. No, I'm sorry, but you were just wrong, so... It could have been based off the main movie. It wasn't based off part one, that's all I'm saying. How do you know? Because Jason's mom is not the killer. Argument in progress. Bro? Are we gonna move on? No! No, just tell me that you hey, are wrong, because you are. To which one? Huh? So, I... Talk about Friday Thirteenth. You talked about what? Friday Thirteenth, the one you talked about. Uh. It has Jason on the cover, right? He's the main. No, killer. I talked about Friday the Thirteenth, and then you talked about a different game. Yeah, and now I'm telling you that you're wrong about Friday the Thirteenth, because yeah, I'm... and now we're moving on to the next game. Yeah, I'm just saying. Now we're moving on to the next game. Yeah. Tetris 2. Okay, so that's your number... Fourth? Bump to the blood. What are we on now? I don't know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13th game. Okay. So that's... So fun. are you gonna elaborate on why you picked it? Yeah, again, just like I said before, first time we did this kind of thing. It, One sec, I'll uh, be right back. Uh, like I said before, um, the soundtrack kind of carried me throughout this one. But that doesn't really matter, because the soundtrack, just because a game is shit doesn't mean the soundtrack can't save it. It's a really kick-ass soundtrack. I can't get enough of it. And good soundtrack. Even the gameplay is good. This came out after Dr. Mario, I think, so kinda just stole Dr. Mario and then refitted it for Tetris. Um 
which disappoints me because I wish it was original, had an original idea. Um, also a very not known game, like not a lot of people even know this thing exists. So, which depresses me because the fact that it just disappoints me because of how good of a game it is. So, yeah, Josh, you're back. No, of course he's not, because why is me? So, um, I was going to say, let's move on. Oh, uh, but, <sighs> okay, game. It's not the best thing I've played in my life, but it's up there. So, yeah, Tetris 2. Tetris 2. Come back. Ooh. Tetris 2. Okay, never mind. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, just a good game overall. That's all I can say about it. There's not a lot to say that has that's different than Dr. Mario, so I'm not going to say anything different. Because, again, there's not really anything different, so... That was awkward. Um... Alright, sorry, I'm back. Yeah, you are. I had to go help my mom bring down some stuff. I thought you had to go piss like you always do in every podcast. <gasps> Alright, What's that? So... Breath of air. <gasps> Are you dying? Yeah, Are man. you suffocating? <laughs> oh. Oh, are you suffocating? <clears throat> you are suffocating. Okay, yeah, I get it. What do you mean? Yeah, I get it. Are you, you done are cooking? Suffocating right now. Are you done cooking? Yeah, I was done cooking like a minute ago. Okay. Uh, so my number 12 pick is Pokemon Ruby, o Omega Ruby. Oh, so you changed that a little bit as well? Yeah. What was that, your sixth favorite game last time? Yeah. So now it's your 13th? 12th. What? Yeah, Bendy. Bendy. Oh, right, yeah. Right, right, right. I just did my 13th, now we're on our 12th. Yep. So yeah, uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby... Most of it's from nostalgia, but also because the game is just overall the best Pokemon game ever. Fight me on this. Nope, you have not played the Game Boy games, obviously. Yeah, I haven't, but in my opinion, this is. Yeah. Uh, also, I would I loved Beedrill for some reason back then, like a lot. So I just bred be I just bred Beedrill, like twenty four seven for some damn reason. Man, that thing don't have a dick. That thing has a stinger. Uh, yeah, and then we got Big Dick B. <laughs> Did you get that from that yeah. Pokemon Go thing? Yeah, and then you got Big Dick B. <laughs> and then we got, oh, that's Party Wiener. Uh, yeah, then we got Floor Shit, and then we got flu three Floor Shits. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, alright, yeah. He knew Pikachu, but everyone knows Pikachu. Yeah. Alright, moving back on to you for number 12. Um, number 12. Uh, Adventure Island 2. I do not know anything about that game, but I know that was on your, um, honorable mentions last time. And you might not also know this, my aunt's, uh, this is my aunt's cartridge. That's actually really cool. That she had, like, with her NES. But hey, that's just a theory. No, that's not a theory. My <laughs> mother remembers playing it. <laughs> but you know, lunch is the most important meal of the day, but you know, it's just a theory. Uh, you you would not get that uh, joke. Watch the FNAF movie and then you'll get that joke. Uh, that was just unintended susness. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, anyways, please. <laughs> um, really good game. It's a side-scroller. Very difficult for an 
island game of all things. Um, bosses are really difficult of all things. Uh, you can play as a little boy with, like, stone-aged axes. So don't expect a lot from this game. Mm. Um, but it's actually pretty good despite the shitty box art. Like, the box art is horrible for it. I just hate it. Yeah. But yeah, it's a pretty good game. Okay. Uh, not much else to say to elaborate on it, so. Hmm. Um, pretty good game, yeah. Yeah. Right. Is it on to me? Yep. For All your... right. I'm actually going to pull oh. up my copy of this game. Monopoly. Oh, uh, no. I already know. Why the hell would Monopoly be this high? I know, that's what I, that's why I said it's not Monopoly. Now, so, yeah, I have a physical copy of this game. And this game... Is it a NES game? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when I tell you. Uh, now, this game, now, this it. game right here, it was, with tax and shipping, all of it, a hundred dollars. What the f... And... Was that number nine? And, this game had an Xbox, uh, Xbox, uh, 360 version. That one goes, like, for, like, two hundred or something. I do not even know what you're talking about. Now, this game... It, you know, it, I'm just gonna tell you guys, this game was made by High Moon. I know what it is. Is it one of the Skylanders games? Dead... Uh, no. Okay, keep going. It was made by High Moon, Marvel, and Activision. Okay, now I know it's Deadpool because you were like, Dead... Yeah, man, I messed up there, but yeah. It's the PS4 Deadpool game. No. Yeah, so this is my number 11. And no. I really, no. really like this game. I especially love... No. Stop saying no, bro. It's actually not funny. No. I, want, I want to talk about this. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm hang I, I just hanged up on Drake, guys, so... Yeah, but... Anyway. What do you want? Speak, mortal human. I was about to say speak, and you cut me off. You so, never cut me I especially love- You're the one cutting me off 24-7, hey, bro. are we still- are we still recording? Just make yes, sure. we're still recording. Okay, good. So. I just- I- again, I just want to make sure it didn't cut out. One thing about this is the game disc, like the actual thing you put in your console. I'll show Drake right here, look. This is actually really cool, it's- it's a pancake. That's stupid. I know it is, but actually, I think it's cool. <laughs> it's really cool? No, it's kind of stupid. I yeah, thought it was cool. Stupid. I liked it. Uh, but yeah, I love how deep it goes into, like, X-Men characters and Deadpool, Marvel in general. You have, like, uh, you have, like, Psylocke, Domino, uh, everyone knows Wolverine. But you also got, like, Cable, you got, like... Uh, Mr. Like Evil or Doctor Evil, whatever you got. Yeah, Dead Doctor Evil. Yeah, you got Deadpool, of course. You got like Windigo. Yep. And yeah, just overall, I really, really love this game, and I think no. I think that this game is like honestly one of the best licensed like superhero games, not in terms oh, of gameplay God, and stuff. No. Not in terms of gameplay, because I will say it gets a bit dry after a little bit, but I do still love yep. it. I will say, though, in terms of accurately displaying the character, this is one-to-one -one Deadpool from the comics. Oh my god, no. Genuinely. Uh, so what? yeah, uh, moving it back on to you, Drake, for number 11. Um, Adventure in the Magic Kingdom. I thought you were about to say, I thought you were about to say Adventure Island again. No. Adventure in the Magic, uh, Kingdom. Uh, licensed by Disney. Uh, really good game. Uh, it's so hard. It 
can't be that hard if it's a Disney game. What? A Disney game can't be that hard. Oh, you want to try playing it? Uh, nah. Why not? Because I don't like uh, Disney that much. I like their movie. At first, I thought it was a Marvel game, just how, how marvelous it was. <laughs> you thought it was a Marvel okay. game? What? That's how good it is. The gameplay felt like it was a Marvel game. Damn, alright. I didn't even think it was as bad enough to be a Disney game. So I think you should revoke what you just said, and you should actually try it out. $20, I bought my copy on Saturday when I got my flu shot and my COVID shot at the same time. Uh, very painfully, yes, you should feel bad for me. But Oh, um, boo-hoo, I... I'm gonna play a song on the world's tiniest violin. Shut up. Do -de -do -de 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 -de. Shut up. So, that's weird. It's, it's a weird game. Your sprite on the overworld looks really goofy. Like, goofy. But, did you get my joke there? Ho ho! Mickey! Sprite! Ho ho! Gorge! Never talk to me again. <laughs> so, it's weird, but... Um, it's a oh, kind of game. I just think it's okay for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. All right, is it my turn? Uh, maybe it is. All right. Yep. It is. Now, if you remember, uh, my number ten hasn't changed. It is still Sonic Generations. And I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it. Just go watch number 10 if you want me to yeah, elaborate on that. Yeah. But I, uh, I will say really quickly, it is kind of like uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby, where it's mostly nostalgia, but it's also just like a good game. So. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, hand it back on to you, Drake, for number 10. Uh, Pop Gun. Okay, my People, mom. My mom loves uh, the Top Gun movies. Dude, okay, Top Gun. People say the game is so hard to control. It's not. You guys just are not good coordinators. You guys just aren't good at anything. If you think this shit's hard. Have you played it? Uh, on RetroGames.cc. All right, you haven't. So stop talking. On RetroGames.cc, yes. Did you think it was hard to control? Uh, yes, but that's because I was on a computer. I was about to say, you're on a freaking computer. Do not even say you thought it was difficult. Yeah. But, yeah, that was a little hard, like, hard, man. No, it was a little um, monkey. Nope. You big monkey. Racism. Anyways, Monkeys are white underneath their fur, my boy. And that's what I keep saying. But people just won't believe me. Well, they're stupid as shit. No, no. Uh, so... Yeah, monkeys are white under all that chocolate. <laughs> what the f... <laughs> no, uh, no, no, that right there was a violation. No, it wasn't. Yep. What made it a violation? Uh, the fact that you're gay. Alright, let's the stop fact doing that this you, on like, camera. Generation should be gay. Alright, alright, let's stop doing this on camera. Yeah. Don't worry, we don't do this kind of stuff off camera as well, but. We do. No, we don't. We mainly fight off camera. Yeah. Or, for the past, like, few days, we have. Yeah. And that's because you're bullshit. It's not my bullshit. You it just is. don't understand. I do. You're the one who doesn't understand that Mega Man 9 doesn't exist. I'm the one exist. who's able to live and see things because I live exactly where I saw it, so... You're... I'm not the one who Anyways, thinks Mega... argument coming. No, I'm not the one argument who thinks coming. Mega Man 9... It's your, turn. it's your turn for your game. 
I'm not the one who's bl who's oh lying God, to someone that Mega game. Man X9 Just is say real. It, John. Just say it. It's time for your game. Oh. God. Holy crap. Just shut up for a moment so I can tell you that. Alright, yeah, uh, I, this one hasn't changed either. It's, uh, Skylander's Shrap Team. Did you just say Eater? Shut the fuck. It hasn't changed either, guys. It hasn't changed either. It is, a Skylander's Shrap Team. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, you guys can go watch that top ten video to, for an elaboration. So, yeah, moving on. I trained you to be better, young warrior. Huh? I trained you to be better, young warrior. Why? It's a good game! It's not better than that, yes. Honestly, it is. No, it's not. Yep. Argument, huh? Yep, that's because you are okay, not liking next, my next, 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 are you done? Uh, no. Are you gonna describe a little bit about it? Uh, I am. Actually, no way, I already did that in the top ten video. I'm done. Okay, so it is my turn. Uh, no. Nah. What do you mean? Yes, it is. No. -uh. You explained everything already. Uh, yeah, I still have one more thing to say. And so you can save fifteen percent on car insurance with Ge Geico. Okay, my ninth favorite game <laughs> is Star Tropics. One or two? One. Damn. I finally beat it. Nice. Holy shit! It is so goddamn hard. I do not make a hard man joke. It is so. It out of my goddamn ass. It is so hard. You're such like when you go to a mountain. I think in like the fourth chapter, there is such a difficulty curve, and then it just gets really easy at the end. I I was in Newfoundland again. Oh, uh, until and I bought Star Trek. Uh, Star Tropics, the whole time I was still there, I was still there for like three weeks, I tried to beat it. Even with the Game Genie, I still just died over and over again at the city. You brought your NES with you? No. My aunt's had, uh, my aunt's son, right? Yeah. Has one. And oh. he bought, uh, bought in a garage sale, and we could not find it until her, uh, until she found it. Was able to play it. Very dirty, though. Mm. So that was not that good. Couldn't even play a few games properly, so. Mm. That did not hinder my experience, though. Just because the uh, console was dirty doesn't mean anything. So, that was cool. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, got anything else? I don't have anything to say about it. I haven't even played it. You sure? No. -uh. I haven't. If I yeah, well, have, I would have actually said something this entire segment. You should. I don't have anything to say. You little whippy. Anyways. So, that's my game down, you next. Alright, so my, what is this, eighth? Oh, uh, I think. Well, uh, yeah, we're on eight. Yep. So my eighth favorite game is Spider-Man 1. Damn, really? For the PlayStation 4. So yeah, the first Spider-Man game in this Spider-Man trilogy, I guess, or Spider-Man, like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the first game in this PS4 Spider-Man thing that was made by Activision, who also worked on the Deadpool game that I talked about earlier, um, was this made by Activision? What? No, this was made by Insomniac. Insomnia. Uh, so yeah, Insomniac's uh, Spider-Man 
uh, well, that's first Insomniac Spider-Man game. I'm talking about the remastered one, not the original. Oh. Because I've only played the remastered. Yeah. And honestly, really, really good game. The w I like Spider-Man 2 more. You'll see it somewhat in the next few slots, maybe. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but the first one, it's really good. And, um... Play it if you if you haven't played any Spider-Man game before, viewers. Start with Spider-Man One, then go to Miles Morales, then go to Spider-Man Two. Fair. I mean, no shit, because that's the order they were released in. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. Uh, on to you, Drake. By the way, one more thing. I have 100%ed every Spider-Man game now. Even the second one. Yep. Hmm. I was in my room for a week playing Marvel Spider-Man Two. Uh, did no, you not for a week. A week end. Did you complete the uh, the NES game? Huh? Have you completed the NES game? Of what? Spider Man. I don't even have it. So you haven't one hundred percent of every Spider Man. I mean, game. Insomniac Spider Man games. Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying that. I was about to lose my shit. Alright, anyway, uh, so yeah, we're on to you for number eight. Seven. No, you haven't done your number eight yet. Oh, shit. Uh, so then we have, um, Rolling Thunder. What? Rolling Thunder. The hell is Rolling Thunder? Oh, that non-official one. It's not non-official. They got the licensing from. They aren't licensed by Nintendo. They just got what they need to make chips. Okay. What he means is Tengen. So. Not I don't know anything about that game, so you can cook. Um, really fun. I'm not even gonna kid with you. It's one of my favorite games now. Okay. Um, I have it on a mini, like, I collect mini, um, arcades. Yeah. Before mm -hmm. I had this, I didn't know there was a cartridge version of it on the NES, until I went down to Newfoundland and I figured out, or I figured it out, that, that I knew it was unlicensed, but I still thought it was really cool. So, I bought, I found it and bought it for 25 bucks. Charge it up to 40 and I'm still paying for it. It's so good. I can't get enough of it. I just want more. Oh, so yeah, it's Daddy, really good. More. It's really good and really fun. Yeah. And I'm happy I bought it. A little harder of a game to come by. But, uh, it doesn't matter. Because it's wealth, or it's... If you wait a long time for it, it's well worth the wait. Or I think it is. Uh, side scroller, shoot him up. You have a gun, I think. No, I know you have a gun. That's your main attack. And you can upgrade to like a machine gun, which is really cool. You have a limited amount of bullets. After that, I don't know what happens. You are on a timer or a time limit for this. Which is stupid, you know I don't like time time limits in games. My least favorite thing in games. Uh, that's why I like Mega Man so much. You can just sit in one area for like six hours and it's gonna stay. Uh, so... After that little rant. Um... Uh, so yeah. Really good game. For not being licensed, top notch. That, again, that might be a hot take for all you NES fans, but just is. Hmm. I do not even care okay. what you say. It's that good. So I'm going to stop wabbering about it now so you can... Why you wabbering? Anyways. Why you? Why you wabbering? Anyways, so you can go on. All right. 
So my right. number seven pick yep. is Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Yep. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. This one is, I think, also in the same spot. Yeah. I'm still gonna go over it again because I just want to. Damn it. Okay. But yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go over the gameplay, because I already did that in the last one. I just want to talk about this one character that brought us. Uh, Fanny. No, she's barely even in the game. Who is the character you're referring to? This character is my second favorite FNAF character, right behind Withered Bonnie. What, Tiny? Yeah, Withered Bonnie's my favorite, but this one is my second favorite. And... It is the moon drop. Oh, he's creepy. That's saying a lot. I do not. I do not find things creepy. Wait, people think he's creepy. Wait, who is it again? Moon drop. So it's that guy who looks like a moon. Yeah. Or whose face is a moon, right? Yeah. Yeah, I find him like stingy. Mm. Yeah, he's my second fair FNAF character, mainly because his segment in FNAF Security Breach is most definitely the scariest. What is it again? The section where you're in the daycare and you need to find all the generators while he's somewhere in this maze of places just following you around and you don't know where he is. That is pretty scary. And it's like pitch and black everywhere. It's like game over, that's horrifying. And it's pitch black everywhere, and all you can see of him in the distance is his glowing red eyes. That is actually kind of scary That now that I think about it. And also he swims in the fucking air. <gasps> we got all these video game characters. This guy can swim like as fast as possible. This guy can... Fly in the air. This guy can just. Or we have somebody who can just like we have got S Batman, Superman, and then we got a guy that looks like a moon that can fly in the sky. You know he's an animatronic, right? I know. Okay. What about it? Because you were saying guy instead of robot, but. Ah, uh, shut up. No, no. But but yeah. I just wanted to talk about him, and also, um, he has the, he also has a segment in Ruin. It's the same segment, but he doesn't chase you around, there's like nothing scary going on, you just gotta find two generators. Yeah. It's less scary, but, you know. Because he's not trying to kill you. Yeah, but honestly, yeah, this guy's just cool as shit. So yeah, uh, going back on to you for number seven. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Um, seven is Punch Out. Oh, uh, Mike Tyson's. Yep. Okay. So, um, I've already talked about it enough. Don't want to talk about it again. Yeah, just go watch the top ten video. Yeah. All right. So for number six, I have Mega Man. Uh. Yo, Mega Man 11. I'm so shocked. My favorite classic series Mega Man game. I've already talked about it enough. There's actually a full podcast dedicated to Mega Man 11, so just go check that out. Go watch it. Yo. Now. So, yeah, uh, on to you for number six. Uh, number six. The Legend of Zelda 2. The what? Legend of Zelda 2. Oh, Legend of Zelda 2, okay. What'd you think I said? The Glitches of Zelda. The Glitches of Zelda, my favorite game. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you have this deaf kid over here. Um, not gonna hear me talk about this fantastic game. Um, very difficult, just because the game is hard as shit, does not make it bad. I think everyone knows this at this point. Yeah, we've talked, we've already said it too many times. Yeah. So, very hard game. I don't know when I'm gonna beat it. Just kidding.
beginning, I already have beaten it. Um, uh, pretty hard, actually. Uh, not really. I found it to be one of the easier NES games that I own. I found, I found Mega Man 4 harder than this game. Okay. I thought you would be like, what the hell are you talking about? <sighs> yeah, you're just getting tired yeah. of me speaking about it. Uh, side scroller, you have a sword and shield, and you have to go kill guys. Uh, you can level up, unlike in Zelda 1, which is really cool. I'm gonna talk, this is just me talking about a few things I didn't talk about in our previous podcast. Uh, like, I haven't, I didn't say a lot of things about the first, or, uh, the second Zelda game. I'm gonna do that here. So, yeah, really cool. Really fun ideas. Um. Don't really got much else to say besides that. <laughs> so I'm gonna lead that off to you. Yeah, I didn't really say much about this in the last video. Proceeds to say absolutely nothing about it new. What is it? Uh, Z Zelda 2. You said nothing new oh. about it. I know. It, again, just like I've said, just like we said for Mario 2, it's, mm -hmm. or, or just like we've said for Mario 3, it's already, there's already a million videos explaining how this game is crazy good, so mm -hmm. we're not gonna do it. So, yeah, for number five, five, right? Yep. Or we, did we just do five? Uh, no, we're uh, on five. Yeah. So, my fifth favorite game of all time is Mega Man. What Mega Man game is it? Guess. One guess. Is it... Do I have a few hints? Nope. Should I know this? Yes. How? Because I've talked about it a lot of times that this is my favorite Mega Man game. No, you have not. You said no. 11 was always your favorite game. Mm, yeah, but like I said, it changed up, I said, in the last few podcasts. No, I said no. I said 11 was my favorite classic Mega Man game. So you have a classic game, or you have a favorite spin-off game. Not spin-off, just different series within the Mega Man brand. Oh my god. I guess spin-off, yeah. Please don't tell me it's an X game. Just guess. I'm scared to. Just guess anything at this point. Guess anything? Yeah. X1. Close. It's Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Oh. God. Yeah. I made a full video about this, so just go watch that. Now. Yeah, go watch it. Even though it's not the best, just go watch it. Just watch it now. Yeah, anyway, okay, no. moving on. Yeah, anyways, so, um, you're passing it on to me, I suspect. Yep. Um, Final Fantasy. Okay, from the NES, I assume. Yep. Uh, the first one, obviously. Yeah. Um, one of the first RPGs ever, really, yeah. uh, it did it really well, in a way that makes you want to keep playing. Okay. Which is really cool. Again, just like Zelda 2, you can level up some of your characters. What do you, you might be like, what do you mean, some of your characters? You have a party, almost, of characters that you can fight against the world with. So that's cool. Um. So. That's crazy. Um. Um. It's the guy from Smash Bros. Who? Cloud? Yeah. Yeah. So this is his first appearance. Uh, appearance. Appearance. No um, cap. Oh, I'm sorry for saying that. Also had a few games. Why did you say no cap, or why did you say sorry for saying no cap? Because I know you don't like Gen Z language. Gen Alpha. Yeah, Alpha. Well, it's Gen Z. Just learned alpha. about that a few days ago, that we're not in Gen Z. 
Anyways, no, um, it, I think it, no, it was Gen Z. I'm just saying it because no, no cap wasn't Gen Z. It was Gen Alpha. Uh, Alpha. Okay. Gen Alpha started in 2010. Mm. I thought we were all Gen Z. If you were born in 2009, you were a honestly. Gen Z. I'd rather be Gen Alpha than Gen Z. Yeah, we're the alphas of the pack. That's just cringe. Why? It's gotta be called Alpha for some reason. We're the youngest generation right now, bro. <laughs> the Stone Ages sounds like the youngest generation. For real. Do not say for real! Anyways, I'm kidding. Um... Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, I used to think Sethroth was the main villain in every game. And what, he is... who is he again? Uh, Sethroth. No, Sethroth, I know who he is, but what is... like, is he a villain, or...? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Um... So, that's all I gotta say. Alright, so. now on to me? Yep. Now you are no, not- No, on to the ghost across the game. Now you are not yeah. expecting this one, folks. Now, he, he, he is green, he is tall, it is Vector Man Vector. 1. Yeah. For number 4. So surprised. I thought you would still expect it to be my number 1. Because uh. I know. No! Shut up about it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, it, uh, number four is Vector Man 1. Mainly because I like other games more after replaying some of them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Vector Man 1 is still way better than anything before it on this list, in my opinion. Mm, yeah, probably. So, yeah. Um, yeah, moving on, folks, to your number yep. four. By the way, if you want to know more about this, go watch my no top ten video. Wait, to my number four? Yeah. You are not expecting this one either. Huh. Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse. I was expecting that. No, you weren't. Yep. Anyways, so... Because I know you like three other games more. So this game is crazy. It's everything that some of the other games had, and more. Um, uh, level design and enemy placement is almost never cheap. It is super hard to beat, though. Uh, what else? Um, the upgrades and stuff in this game felt more fluid than the first one. Compared to the first one, I should say. So, that's good. That's a big plus. Just like uh, Switzerland's flag. Um, only diehard country lovers will get that joke as well. Uh, but, yay -ho! I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> um, but this game is really cool. I also got this game on Saturday when I got my shot, so that's different. Um, a pretty okay game. Oh yeah, by the way, I know you're not gonna like my next three. <sighs> yeah, I won't. So, are you ready? So, yep. Are you ready? Yep. Alright, uh, my number three favorite game of all time is Doom Eternal. Time to die. Uh, yeah, just go watch the top ten video if you want to know more about that. Moving back on to you, Drake Bye. Moto. I die. Moving back on to you, Drake Moto. I die. Um. Damn, this is hard. Uh. Because there are just so many good games. But I gotta go with Kirby's Adventure. Just like last time. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah, so. Just go watch Top 10 if you want to know more about that one. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I didn't say a lot of things for that game in the last podcast, so I'll say it now. Okay. Um, 
3D. I felt like it was 3D when I played it. Side scroller, it's not, but it's so it looks so good. Um, it was the sec like it was a game that took up the second most amount of storage. Yeah, and also had a button battery, which helped you save it. Yep, which helped you save the game at certain spots in the game. That it you didn't wanted. help you; it just let you. It didn't help you; it just let you. So yeah, that's um pretty cool. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, so what battery is really cool? Uh, don't know if I mentioned this already, but um. It was it was the second biggest NES game to ever fit in a cartridge. Really? Yep. What was the first? Oh, uh, I forget the name of it. Let me search it up really quick. What is the biggest storage NES game? Oh my god, what? Kirby's Adventure. It was 786 kilo uh, kilobytes. God damn. Oh my god. Yeah. It, I'm searching up how much storage does every NES game t or most average NES games take between 128 kilob uh, kilobytes and 256. This was 768. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god, this game did come out in, what year, this game did come out in 1993, uh, so I can understand why it's so big, probably because, well, hell, it, they had higher um, storage because they learned how to ex expand it more. I uh, gotta go use the bathroom really quickly, I'll be right back, you continue yapping uh, yeah. on about Kirby. Okay, so, this game is really cool. Sides, again, don't know if I've said this already. It cut off, so we're doing a retake. Um, side scroller, the nest. Um, so, um, again, side scroller, NES game. Um, this game established what Kirby is as a whole, because... Kirby was never like this. If you didn't know, he had two Game Boy games. And guess what? In both of them, you were not able to eat enemies and become... I'm back! Abilities. Yep. And so that was a staple for Kirby. And I am so happy for that. If it wasn't for the ability for Kirby to suck things in his mouth and then become those abilities. Hey, I, yo, what the... I would rank him so much lower. Not because he sucks, but just because of the fact... Just because of the novelty that he can turn into so many things. Hey, yo! So that's cool. This this man likes pink balls sucking! <laughs> you like pink balls! You Shut like up. sucking! You like Shut pink up. balls Shut sucking! Up. Shut up. So it's your turn now for Yay. your now, second favorite game. This is my second favorite game of all time. I cannot wait for the sequel to get it. It's Ghost what Runner. What is it? Ghost Runner? Yup, you have no idea what this is, I assume. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, anyway, you follow your main protagonist, Jack, who is a ghost runner. Half, well, no, I think they're just fully human. No, not, yeah. fu not fully human, fully robot. Yeah. And, so yeah, advanced AI, and you gotta go destroy the Dr. Octopus Lady from taking over the tower, which all humans are trapped in because the outside world is uninhabitable. Yeah. And then you got, and there's this guy that's inside of your head, and then later on you gotta defeat him. And then Jack presumably dies, but he's not, because he gets right back up after he presumably dies, so he's not dead. Yep. And that's basically the very short version of the story. Please go play this game. It's a 10 out of 10. Play this game, then play the sequel, which came out a little bit ago. I'm gonna play it soon, so my list will probably change again once I play that. But, 
Yeah. So I'm just wanting to get a physical copy. Yeah. And, but the gameplay, honestly, this might be some of the best gameplay I've ever had in my life. Like, modern gameplay. No, gameplay in oh, general. Really? Like, all the different techniques, you get to block bullets right back at the enemies, you get the wall run. Like, all the movement feels so real and alive. Really? It feels like you are that guy. And also, really? this game has DLC where you play as one of the boss fight characters. Huh. And you see their backstory and how, why they're dead. Huh. So yeah, uh... Moving back on to you for your number two pick. <sighs> this was the closest thing I have ever put in my entire life. I almost said that this game was my number one. And guess what? For all of last week, it was my favorite game. I ranked it higher than Mega Man 5. So we know what you're... Yeah. My second favorite game is Ninja Gaiden 3. You know what? That's very fitting, because guess what? What? My second favorite game has Jack as the protagonist. Jack and Ryu are very similar outside of design. Yeah. Like, very similar. S you mean similar? I Yes, I can't s talk right. I'm tired. Um, so, this game is so good. Very much. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Um, so, um, so with this, right, um, this game is a side scroller. Sometimes it's up and down scrolling, but Oh no. Not... What? I didn't know that. Yep. What what is? The Ninja Garden 3 has up and down scrolling. Yeah. Quite a bit of it. So uh um, It's really fun. Um, I can't talk about it that much, because, well, actually, I can. Nobody seems to ever talk about this game. It's funny, because people keep saying that this game is absolute dog shit. And that pisses me off more than you can imagine. Because it is such a good game. I can't even understand why people say it. You need to play it first to understand the true potential of the game. But, be warning, you may have a heart attack trying to find an original cartridge for it. $180. Eh, yeah, on eBay you can find it for like 100 Yeah, but against most are fake. No, not really. Most of them are real. And also, again, just... Taxes and shipping and shit like that. No, the hundred that I, the one that, coffee that I found was a hundred with tax and shipping. So how much is it? Uh, like eighty bucks. What do you mean, just eighty bucks? For this game, that it was a hundred plus shipping and stuff. No, it was eighty dollars. Then you add on shipping and stuff. So yeah, that rounds around to a hundred and twenty. Yeah. If not, maybe a little bit more, so... No, it rounded up to, like, 115 or around that. Yeah, so that's... That's okay, but... That's good compared to the you spent 180. Yeah, but like I was saying, it's definitely worth it. Again, I don't know how to explain it. You need to play it first. Yeah. There's just something, there's something about it that the first two games never and will never have. It's just, 
there's something about it that is just so miraculous that I cannot put my finger on it. Okay. So I'm just... I'm waiting for that day to come where I figure out what I am trying to say. <laughs> because it's just so good. Now I'm going to pass it on to you for your number one, which I already know what it is. No, I'm going to let you go first because I'm going to talk about this game for like a few minutes. So I want you to say yours first so I don't keep... I'm going. also going to talk about mine for a few minutes. Okay, well, then I'll just go. Yeah, just go. You already know this. Don't say it for me, though. It is, but no, I'm kidding. You say it, yeah. So, yeah. My favorite game of all time after playing it for one weekend straight is Spider-Man 2. Overall... Drake Moto 25 has left the chat and has left your life. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, everything from movement, web swing, everything... Especially if you put on the realistic uh, web swinging settings. Oh my god, so good. Movement and versatility in this game, so good. Web wings, oh my god. Everything. I and Click off right now, or skip to... Sk click off right now if you don't want spoilers for the story. Okay, guys? Alright. You're, you're fine with me spoiling it for you, Drake, because you don't care. Yeah, I don't. I'm never gonna play this game. Yeah, but for the, you who ha guys in the audience and girls and non-binary people in the audience who haven't played this game and want to experience the story, click off because I don't know what timestamp I'm gonna stop talking. So, yeah. Um. So yeah, the story it best story in any video game get ever. This is honestly video game of the year. But yeah. Um. Oh, man. I don't know where to start. The story is just amazing. This is, like, the best version of every Spider-Man character that's in this game. This is the best version of Spider-Man, best version of Venom, best version of Kraven, best version of everyone who's in this game. And best version of nothingness. Shut up. Um, but yeah. Uh, I... I have to say, Miles' new suit that you unlock at the end of the game is ass. Honestly, just straight, like, trash. But, I love, I love how, um, I was not expecting this. You know the, do you know the Life Foundation symbiotes? Uh, yeah. Like the group of Venom's offspring? Yeah. They're all in this game. What? You have, Scream is the oh, only one that's shit. physically here, but you have four enemy, symbio enemies, that all reference the other ones. You have a green one that has tendrils coming out of his back to represent Lasher, my favorite a symbiote. What the hell, really? Yeah, you have a big gray one, which I guess is taken from the movie, because Riot is actually blue in the comics. Yeah. For, to represent Riot, you got a purple one to represent Scream. Not Scream, a Phage. Not fa It's Agony. A purple one yeah. to represent Agony, and a yellow one to represent a Phage. Yeah. And also, freaking Agent Venom is in this game. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay, I'll keep cooking. Agent Venom, bro. The gun- the gun- the one with guns! Like, oh my god. And yes, Harry is Venom. All you non-believers out there, get screwed. And, um... Oh, Craven is a badass in this game. He killed Scorpion. He killed Shocker. He killed Rhino. He killed Vulture. Just for him to get his booty cheeks clapped by Spider-Man. Symbiote Spider-Man, and then Miles to clap Symbiote Spider-Man cheeks. Like, god damn. Uh, MJ. In the first Spider-Man game, MJ's playable segments were ass. In this one, they're actually really fun. Like, actually really good. And, oh man, I'm fanboying. Um, they set up three characters, three villains to be in Spider-Man 3. They set up 
uh, Green Goblin, they set up Carnage, and they set up Chameleon. God damn. Also, I like Flint Marco's story, aka Sandman. I like his little story throughout the game. And, uh, overall, 10 out of 10 game. I don't care what anyone says. Game of the year right here. Like, god damn. God damn. Anyone who's still voting for Breath of the, No, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, you have not played this game, my boy. You have not played this game. And no, you haven't. I have. Are you almost done? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm done. Back to, on to you for your for favorite game, which I think we still all know. Still recording for this? I think we all know what uh, Drake's favorite game is. Are we still recording for this? Of course, why wouldn't we be? No, like, look at it. It might have cut off. It's still recording, yeah. Okay, good. Um, so, we're finally at the number one spot after how long? Uh, like, two hours and, like, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yep. Uh, Mega Man 5. We all knew Let that. Let me explain why. Reason why. This game just... Slaps. Almost like Ninja Gaiden, where you need to play some of it to understand why it's good. But two hundred and fifty dollars, I'm not gonna let you sit there and wonder how much money you're gonna end up spending on this thing. Because a lot of the things in the game is easy to know. Like, oh, well, I mean, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, the graphic, the graphics have for Mega Man have been. Forever for the NES and Super Nintendo have been changed only by this game. I don't think the fourth game really changed the graphics apart from the third one. Actually, no, because they added the same detail with less slowdown in the fourth game. Anyways, um, it does look more beautiful, though. The backgrounds and shit for this game are beautiful. It's phenomenal work, and the the music sounds like something you hear from a band that like makes music for anime movies and stuff like that. It's so, uh, and that's saying this is on NES chip to music, which is crazy to say that these have bass lines and stuff on chip two. It's and also just. I think Josh will make, like, like he did in the last, uh, in our top ten video. I think he's gonna put, like, a picture of the box art or the cartridge or something while we're talking about the game. I don't think I will oh. for this one. That, this no, take... come on, please. Please. Take, it will take so long because this is a two-hour video. That's fine. Please, fine. it'll, it'll help, it'll... It'll make, it'll show that we put in enough effort for views. Fine. So, um, like I was saying, there will probably be a picture of the box art, unless Josh is not listening and just d ignores, ignores me, which I hope he doesn't, because this video could get a lot of views. Because people might just click off from listening to this just because they don't know where they are in the podcast. Yeah. So, I know you have done a few of your podcasts without pictures of things in the back, so just let's stop that trend and try to put in some effort. But, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, not saying that we don't have enough effort, because we come home from a long day of school and talk for hours on and about games, but anyways, this, um, the box art is crazy cool. Like, you have Gravity Man trying to kill Mega Man. That's pretty cool. Um, along with sixes and maybe threes box art, all of their, uh, all of those look cool. Um, rest of the box arts kind of look like crap. Maybe fours I could put an exception on, but two and ones are just terrible. Quick Man in Mega Man 2 is literally purple. In no world should Quick Man be purple. Anyways... Um, but besides that, oh uh, yeah, really good game, music's really good, 
graphics are really good. I already talked about this. Box art's really good. Want to know what is it really good? Yeah. The sales for this game. Yeah. Only 500,000 copies. Which might sound like a lot, but in video game terms, that's pretty ass. Actually, I think it might have been lower. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was 300,000. Mm. So you can find a copy on eBay around for 130, or you can buy one in store with, like, that looks perfect for 250. And I decided to go with the 250 route because I want a really good cartridge. So, um, what was I going to say? This game is just really good. And I can't explain enough of it. Um, the Robot Masters are really unique. I will say something else that's really stupid is the, um, boss logic. Like, you shoot a giant crystal at a bunch of bombs. And it kills the bombs. Like, what? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. But, um, so that's cool, I guess. Um, that's it, I can say. If you um, guys want to know more about this game and why Drake loves it, we have a Mega Man 5 podcast. And also, I think there's a Mega Man. For you who have, like, Chrome computers and actual PCs and stuff, uh, you can play this on a website called KBH Games, and you also have another one. What is yours called again? Uh, RetroGames.cc Yeah, where you can just search up any, pretty much any Mega Man game and just play them. There's also this other one called MegaManGames.com That's the one I was thinking about. Oh. But, um, you can search up any three of those, and you will mostly find a bunch of Mega Man games there. For you to play for free without spending two hundred and fifty dollars for a good experience, but I mean, NES is always better. But if you don't even have an NES, then this is a fine way. Yeah, it is like the next best way to play games. No, Legacy Collection. Okay, fair. Which is on the Nintendo Switch, where you can play. Every Mega Man game up to date besides 11 because you have to buy that separately. Also, it's also on uh, PS4 and 5, I think? Yeah, PS4, 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and all those. Yeah. Modern consoles. It's only on Xbox uh, Series X and, X and PlayStation 5 because PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X can be used on the previous generation. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I guess we should wrap it up now. This video is almost three hours long. Yep. So, yeah. Well, you've been listening to Retro Rain. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.